Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, this is something that uh, some of you have asked me to talk about how to do different types of scans using Windows um, security or the security uh, within Windows 10. Uh, this video is done on the 1903 version which is the May 2019 update but works uh, probably pretty much the same or close to it uh, on earlier versions like the April and October 2018 update. So how do you do different types of scans on your Windows 10 machine if you kind of want to see if something is lurking within your PC? So by default, um, the Windows security does a scan, a quick scan, uh, pretty much once, at least once a week. So that means for um, you know, most of what people do, it's enough, and there's no really no need to do bigger scans than that. If in a specific folder you think something is happening, what you could do is go into the File Explorer, and when you go into the File Explorer, you can right-click one of the folders. When you right-click those folders, one of the options is Scan with Windows Defender, which is Windows Security. So that will let you scan any folder manually. You can do a full scan by going into the app itself. So on the bottom right, there's a little shield, and this is Windows Security. If you don't see it, look at the uh, behind the little arrow pointing up. It might be lurking behind here. In here, you will have, of course, um, virus threat and protection. And, of course, it tells you the last time there was a quick scan, and you can go to scan options and here you will have the options to do a quick scan, a full scan, a custom scan, and an offline scan. What's the difference between all of them? A quick scan checks the regular folders, the ones that are commonly used by bad guys when there's viruses or malware in your PC. A full scan will scan everything, every single file on your computer. This could be very long because if your hard drive is a big hard drive and you have a lot of files this might take several hours in some cases it depends that um, you know the type the number of files you, and folders you've got it also depends if you have a SSD or a regular hard drive custom scan is choose a location so if you put it there you will have to choose a location of where you want to scan and where you want to check. Uh, this one is a little bit like what I did when I right clicked uh, on the file explorer. And finally a Windows Defender offline scan is a scan that actually will be done when you restart your PC. The offline scan, the reason why it exists is that sometimes when bad um, software or malware is in your PC because they are, the files are actually being used by Windows, the regular scan can't access or remove malware sometimes because of that. By doing an offline scan, it actually will scan again and will be possibly able to remove files that were stuck because Windows was using them. You know, it's kind of a loop. If Windows is using a file, well, you can't delete the file because Windows is using the file. By doing an offline scan, that's where you can actually do this. So these are the different options. And in some very tough or difficult to remove viruses, an offline scan might be the solution for you to actually have that removed from your PC. And remember that if you do a scan and there's tons and tons of malware on your PC, do a clean install is the best thing you can do no antivirus will actually clean 100% when infections are really, really bad. Not counting that more and more a lot of the computers uh, and, and antivirus software don't really see the latest malware. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.